So essential tremor is a relatively common condition. It does seem to have a familial basis. About half the patients who present with essential tremor have a family history. And essential tremor is a tremor often that starts in younger life, so uh, late teens, early 20s. And patients notice that when they're putting their hands up or doing something, uh, it becomes more and more vigorous tremor movements. And often this is brought out by things like carrying a cup, of, uh, a cup and saucer or carrying a drink, for example and spilling it. Now, it generally affects both sides of the body. It can affect the ha head and also the voice. So you can get a bit of a shake in the voice. Interestingly, it doesn't seem to be a disease of degeneration. So cells aren't dying in the brain. So the symptoms generally stay stable throughout life and we have some good treatments to reduce the amount of tremor that patients have. In terms of what causes it, we're not entirely sure, and certainly under the microscope there don't seem to be abnormalities of the brain. We see this thought that perhaps there's an abnormal circuit in the brain, and our treatments don't often target that circuit, they often target the, if you like, the nerve impulses to the muscle, and the commonest way for us to treat this is with an old-fashioned beta blocker drug. These are the drugs that the heart doctors use to calm your heart down, lower your blood pressure and your pulse. And where we see it working in essential tremor is that it stops the signaling between the nerves and the muscles and dampens down that tremor. Uh, interesting to know that these tablets, of course, are banned substances for certain sports where you might need very fine control, like golf or playing snooker. So I think the outside for someone with essential tremor is that they recognize that it's something that doesn't get worse over time and generally responds well to treatments with no pathology in the brain.